You are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button, everyone. Be sure to like, comment, and share. I'm here with the Ambitions review from last night. Hot episode, man. The show kicked off giving me some chills, boy. Um, My boy Titus, he go pay a more visit at the job, trying to be romantic and, you know, do the whole whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. And, um... You know what I'm saying? As they conversating or whatever, flirting or whatever, um, a more boss lady come in and was like, you know, it's some great talent over there in Birmingham, Alabama. We have another uh, 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 employee that we, you know, we had an open position and we had to bring them in and since you work so well, you know, yada, 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 yada. And so, all of a sudden, Damon Cross come in and doggone um, Titus, he loses his cool. You know what I'm saying? He goes up, you can't be here, what you doing here, whoop, you whoop, all that good stuff. And so Titus ends up storming out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and um, well, before he storms out, um, Amora was like, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, I'm gonna see what's going on. You know, just talking all that irrelevant talk. We need him gone, sis. We don't need him. We don't need you to find out why he hit what you need you to get him on the first thing back to, you know what I'm saying, Birmingham, so we can keep living our, you know what I'm saying, new, great life in the A. You feel me? So, anywho, Titus leaves and all that, you know, boo, I, I, all that's gone. So, um, she going to talk to Buddy and she was like, you can't be here, how you kill all this and all that. He was like, you know, I finished up some loose ends back home with the cases back then. I seen a, a chance and a better opportunity. I'm hopping on it. And I will say this, you know, after the show went on, I ain't really into all this Tyler Perry, stalker, creeperish type stuff. You know, David Cross sneaking in the house, um, watching her shower, smelling her, her, her underwear and I ain't really into all that. To me, that ain't good TV because I, it just ain't good because I don't like that type of stuff. Uh, I just think it's not worth putting on TV. Like that whole stalking stuff is just like, it's sad. It ain't even creepy, it's just sad. But anyway, so um, pretty much y'all know what happened. He shows up, Titus get upset. He questions him more, what he doing here? You know, oh, so that flower in your office come from him. Like, he just spirals and out of control, <clears throat> which is what um, Stephanie Lancaster wanted is for him to spiral out of control so they can, so she can kind of get the upper hand, you know what I'm saying, doing what she got to do, you know what I'm saying? But while we're in a David Cross situation, pretty much later in the show, he goes to meet up with uh, Stephanie, and Stephanie was just like, you know, do what you do to ruin a marriage. And it kind of is weird because it seems like Damon is asking all these questions, like why you want to, you know, mess with innocent people and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And it kind of confuses me because like one moment when he be talking to Stephanie, he come off as a want to be a good guy or whatever. But when he talking to... Um, well, when he's sneaking in them people's house and smelling her drawers and licking in her shower and, and brush her teeth, like, I, you know, it just don't go hand in hand. So, you know, which is, like I said, I, 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 I really don't like that storyline. But anywho, moving on, um, Bella is uh, at the crib at her empty nest. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, empty nest. And Roderick comes over and, you know, you know, he just wants some answers. She basically tell him because he goes as far as to say, I know you're sleeping with uh, Mayor Lane Castle. Um, I seen him leave the other night after you and I had sex. You made him watch that, like yada, yada, yada. So she put together this story saying that, you know, she's so sorry. She apologized. They've been having a whatever for about a year now. 
and he's into that type of thing, so I had to give him what he wanted. He said he'll hurt me, and you know, this fool, man, let me tell you something about these doggone Latino women. I do understand why. I'm from the country, you feel me? And I'm just, you know, when you're from the country, the, 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 the older generation, they tell you to be careful with them different nationalities and different type of light-skinned women. And the reason why, because they just drive you crazy. They, 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 this man that lost all his rationale thinking. He gonna believe that the mayor of Atlanta is so, I guess, freaky to the point where he wanna see him and Bella do it. He's like, no. You don't believe that? No. You know, a man of that, I mean, I know it's some kinky stuff, but listen, Bella got Roderick wrapped around her pretty little Latino finger, and he's just eating it up. So anyways, while we on this subject, later in the show, Roderick, he put together a foolproof plan to bring down Mayor um, Landhouse, and we're going to get to see how it fold out in the coming episodes or whatever. He goes on his little sports show, and he ends the show with basically taking a shot at Evan. Um, I don't even know what he said, but he took a shot at Evan, right? And so he knew what was up. He probably heard, you know, you know through the screen. He probably still got to get to the screen that, you know, Landhouse don't want to be gangster. But, um, you know, Landhouse pulls up on him with his team, Bullets. They beat him up. Um, and this dude, you know, you know, it's, you know, Atlanta is an interesting place. You know what I'm saying? Because I, look here, I'm not going to even sit up here and, and, and uh, tell a lie, man. You can find a lot of crazy things, inventions, and just in it pretty. You, you can find a lot of everything in that level. And um, it really didn't even surprise me. This dude had a whole camera in his rolling or whatever type of watch that was. And I'm just like, oh my, only in Atlanta you can find stuff like this. And I, I mean, it's crazy. So obviously his plan is to expose male, or usually some black male or something like that. I don't know, but we got to stay tuned to find out. But it is, it was kind of disappointing that he just kind of took that behind whooping though. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't really try to fight back. I know they kind of jumped it, but I ain't really get the sense that he really wanted to, I don't know, even if I'm recording the mayor beat me, I'm gonna at least try to make it seem like I did a little something. Like I ain't just gonna be no little punk in the video, if you know what I'm saying. So anyways, moving on, um, they really pushing this, these daughters, Carly and Barry or whatever the period for and the Lancaster daughter's name, they really trying to push them on us, man. And, and uh, Truth be told, I ain't really got time for it, but let me just speak on this thing pissed me off because um the the the, the, the dark skinned Carly Lancaster daughter, she tripping. She tripping, tripping. She so in love with a little white chick to the point where she's saying either we gonna be out in public and do whoop de whoop or you know, cause what we do ain't enough. And I'm saying to myself, since when do, 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 do us, then you know what I'm saying? The sisters and the brothers trip over the white, the, the white person in a relationship. Like, it usually the other way, right? You know, white people be, be running crazy, they, they stalking, that. <sighs> it, it's too much, man. So, that just kind of made me put me on feelings. You know what I'm saying? Because even still, um, later in the episode, hold on, let me stay with these two, but so she ended up talking to the girl and to come into her little poet night, the picture got took, so we already know, you know what I'm saying, they about to expose that, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> moving on. We got to talk about little Greg Peters. Uh, Peters, he rolled, you know, he, 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 you know, he rolled up into Carlisle and whoever associates pretty much fired him and, you know, Stephanie chased him and said, you know what I'm saying, what can I do to make sure that you don't quit? And he basically said, double my income. So she goes to work. Stephanie pull up on her line, sister. Um, oh man, I forgot the young lady's name. The one that went to college with her no more. Um, her name gonna be Megan for the sake of this video. So she pulled up on her, basically say, um, so, um, hmm. 
I remember he was cheating on your husband, doing a little rich people coke or whatever drug was, and you end up killing, you know, drowning your miss, your uh, your cheater. I see, they, it's a mistress for a man, but I don't know what it is for the women. But anywho, she was cheating. And Stephanie basically like, you know, she covered it up or whatever, but if she don't agree to get her husband to move his energy plants to the A, she gonna leak the story and it's just gonna cause a whole bunch of troubles in the marriage, press. So, you know, Stephanie, Stephanie a devil, man, but you know what I'm saying? We need that on the TV show, man. I don't like I said, I wish it could have been somebody other than Robin Gibbons, but she growing on me, man. She growing on me week by week. So nevertheless, she goes and takes this beautiful bribe that she has put in place with the homegirl to uh, the hubby and basically say, if you give Greg Peters the, the, the venue at the airport, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can promise you that these energy people, they come in and 200 some thousand, 26,000 jobs, but you know, all this stuff for the city, boom, boom, boom. So she ends up Get Evan to say, hey, I need to see some proof. If you show me some, I, I get to play in the motion and all that. So she go deliver the news to Peters. And once again, you know, Stephanie is spreading her leg. And you know what, man? I am just, you know, <clears throat> Stephanie, when she sleep with people, it make me feel like that's her vulnerability. That's, that, that's the only time that she feel like she could let go and you know what I'm saying, and, and, and stop the act, yeah, if that makes sense. Like, you know, when she ain't sleeping with these men, and the fact she's sleeping with a white man, it's just really just, you know, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just caught up too much on that, so I'm gonna just go ahead and move on so I can finish this review up and get back to work. So, um, that was that. Um, I'm gonna hit this Bella True real quick, and then we gonna finish it up. Bella pulled her joker. Bella playing spades, and she pulled after the big joker on Dog on Land Castle. She showed up to the crib, to the to the crib where Evan and where Mr. And Miss, Mrs. Land Castle lives. And, uh, Bella pulled the big joker that is gonna trump everything. You like, she pulled it. I, ain't, I got robbed, I ain't got nowhere to, no, no, nowhere to lay my head, and whoop de whoop whoop de whoop then. So she already knew what the play was gonna be because she said even that lovely dress that I made for you, first first lady, um, you know, whatever your name is, has gotten stolen. I don't know if I'm being there make it. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, Steph was like, oh, you can stay here until all your belongings that you found, or we, we able to handle this and handle that. Evan didn't like that. Evan didn't, see, 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 that's what I'm talking about when you got these side pieces. It's too much work to keep everybody involved happy. I ain't got time for it, man. So Evan had to end up giving everything back. Um, it was a scene in there where um, Stephanie told Evan to handle this ASAP as if she kind of knew about Evan and old girls sleeping together. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, but then she pulled the baby joker next and told Evan that she don't know if he's gonna be able to see the child because he don't even know that's his daddy. I was just like, oh my. She she pulled all the spades this game. I was just like, boy, she ain't playing. And so he was like, she was like, oh, so what you gonna do? I mean, ain't, ain't like you can do daddy things when you take him to get ice cream, show up to the baseball game. And I said, Lord, she got the dog gone. She got both deuces, the deuce of heart and the deuce of spade. I, well, she, was, she wasn't playing this episode, dog. She wasn't. She pulled all the spades out on Land Council. And I love her. I love every minute of it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even like, I don't even like him like that. So anyways, moving on. Um, uh, I think early in the show, Evan gonna pay Rondell a visit and he see Kent leaving and he put all these thoughts in there. Kent won't run there. Well, Kent, you know, Rondell called him out, was like, hey, you know, you using me to get to my brother, you know, yada, yada, yada. Hey, Kent bought out the restaurant for the night. Got the soap and water, foot bath on the floor. Soon as she walk in, baby girl, get off them feet. Come put the feet in that water and let me dog on feed you your favorite meal, uh, uh, macaroni, smothered pork chop, whatever else was on the menu. Y'all, I ain't gonna eat like to you. I 
I ain't eat meat for the month of July. So, I, you know, every time I hear something about some pork chop or something, boy, you know, I'm about to start to order. I'm trying, I'm trying to share a few pounds. The best way to do it is give up this meat. Let me get that on top. So, the whole thing was missing. You know, he went to the juke machine, played the, played the song. He should have played that, um, that, that Ken. Ain't his name Ken? Ken or Ken? I can't stop loving you. That's what he should have played, boy. Hey, boy, boy, look at him, boy. He... He, boy, he feeling him some Rondell, and he having Rondell the signatures required to get the, to make sure Peter can't come through and take over the banks with development. Like, I'm like, you know, I'm all for um, uh, Kent and Rondell um, in their situation. Um, before I think of his, it, I believe that's pretty much for sure. I can't think of nothing else right now. Um, but if I miss some, y'all, leave me in the comment section. Let me know. Um, be sure to like, share, all that good stuff, and um, I'm gonna let y'all good folks later, man. Peace.